Hey, welcome to another Tales from the Dark Side. Uh, guess what? I'm here talking first, so we have a spoiler warning. We are going to have spoilers in this one. We are reviewing Darth Vader number nine, uh, volume three. If you haven't read it yet, Darth Vader number 10 is going to come out soon. We're giving you the time. You see the ticker. Spoilers are coming. We just want to give you a little bit of a heads up. Uh, trying a new format-ish. It's a little bit different, but kind of the same. We'll still get this one in pretty quickly. We're going to roll out the droids here. Here we go. All right, welcome back. Got a couple friends with me. You all know him from his toy stuff, Pete. Pete, say what's going on. What's going on, everybody? Also, my co-pilot, Solo Wookie, will run us through the cover. Solo, let's get it started. Let's not waste any more of the people's time. Here we go. Covers are on you. <laughs> cover A. I love this cover. I like all these covers. Cover A is by Aaron Cooter, and it's the assassin that's jumping in on top of Vader, and Vader's pretty much pieced himself together with some spare parts once again, yeah. but he is ready for this guy. Very and interesting. Yeah. They have got also B2 battle droids up top and B1 battle droids down low. Interesting. Doesn't have much to do with the book. Then we have cover B and this is the classic 40th empire from Chris Sprouse. And I love this cover. It's iconic. It's chewy, sitting with a, a blasted apart C-3PO, and he's staring into 3PO's eyes. And it, it's I love this image. I, I love this cover. It's in the feels. Then we have the 1 in 10 Encino design sketch, and it's showing Vader with all of his new mouse droid parts and... <laughs> uh, battle droid arms and just pieces and parts he's put himself together with uh another great i do like this sketch some of these on some of the other styles of books i'm not a big fan of but so far this run on the vaders of these is just i, I love them they've been outstanding fans have been agreeing the encinos have been doing very well in both markets it was what one in ten it is a one in ten yep it is a one in ten so we started off this is a running theme throughout all these Vader books. If you make your cameo or last page splash appearance in the previous book, hmm. you're going to come out and to start it off in the next book. In this one, we've got the Droid Crush Pirates of Bastogne. Yes, terrible names. There's a lot of terrible names they have going on. Very long names. We will just call them the Droid Crush Pirates. Okay, the Droid Crush Pirates. The Droid Crush Pirates are going <laughs> after. We might even shorten it from there. Yeah. After Vader. They have pushed the DCP. assassin to the side. They are trying to figure out how to capture him and why to capture him for his technology. Vader is using ice picks to rock ice picks to slash through their heads and destroy them. Remember, he cannot use the force at this point. He can use anything but the force. That is part of the rules from the emperor. He does a great job slashing their heads open. There's a lot of action in this action after action, after action, six, eight panels. in a lot of these, the droid does start questioning why they're going after him and says, Ooh, we must be going after you. Cause you've got tons of great technology. Somebody spent a lot of time, a lot of energy on you. It'll be great to destroy you and take your parts pretty much is what he's alluding to. They do find a piece and they're like, but this is a piece of junk because yeah, if you recall, if you recall, Darth Vader did reset himself with a bunch of mouse droids. So not exactly the technology they are looking for. Also, surprisingly, the assassin to this point was supposed to be some type of threat. In this book, he gets pushed around by everybody. The yeah. droid crush, push him around, tell him that he's nobody pretty much and that they're wasting their time here. Then Vader grabs him from behind, punches him in the face, tells him to give him back his lightsaber. And he pretty much gives him back his lightsaber. And you give Vader lightsaber with all that tech, and he's going to just start destroying people, or or droids in this case. So he starts cutting through all the droids left. He cuts through them right, slashes them all up. The droid can't believe it. He can't believe that this filthy humanoid cyborg put together by mouse part things beat him. 
By the way, the assassin is in the background just going, eh, what am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> well, you're supposed to be killing Vader, but apparently he gave up on that one. Either way, Vader goes, uh, yeah, you know what? If you think my mouse droid parts are so junky, guess what? I'm going to use your parts to rebuild myself, which is what he's supposed to do. He then goes and he then goes and uh, if you look at the bottom corner panel, pip smacks the assassin. Hmm. This character is getting worse and worse as he just the book goes he just on. kicks his butt through this whole book. He oh, just, everybody does. This, they just abuse him. Yeah, it, not not a not a super tough or great character by any means. I think that's how you find yourself. Yeah, sometimes you need that like little bit of a smarmy character like Ike in Tombstone. Like, yeah, he yeah. weasels his way out of a lot of situations, but he still enjoys seeing him. Yeah, you're right, but he didn't weasel his way out of the Tatooine desert because he well. ended up being dead in there. <laughs> so, but at, at this point, uh, Vader's smacking him around so that he will <laughs> use the the Pathfinder to Exegol that he found from the Eye of the Bog in the previous book. Oh, the the Wayfinder, the Wayfinder, yes. Um, and he does eventually do that. Vader then puts him in an escape pod, attaches it to the bottom of his fighter, and then jumps onto one of those hyperdrive rings. We did not show you this next panel because it's pretty sweet. So buy the book because we still do want you to buy the books, even though we are... Oh, even though we are right. There is a mouse droid. Yes. I didn't notice that when I, when I read it the first time. I see it now. But in the next group of panel, next page, uh, it looks like the assassin then almost pukes and it takes him through hyper speed or hyper the hyper speed lane, which is pretty fun. So make sure you check this out. And then we did give you the last page. Anybody want to guess what's going to be on the last page? Mm, yeah, Shuma Gorath. Yeah, it's another cameo slash first appearance type thing of some character that is in the Red Horror. Apparently, we do know <laughs> they call it the Red Horror, the the place behind him. Because the next book is 10. We've already looked at it. This is a very interesting cover, Pete. Yeah, it looks like Frank Miller to me. I think you said it was Chris Sprouse, but this looks like a, a Sin City Frank Miller cover if I ever saw one with the three colors. You got red, black, and white, and it's just, I don't know. I it's did not say it's a Sprouse. Yeah. There will be a Sprouse. The variants no. are done now because they're into 10, and like a lot of the Star Wars ones, once they start getting 10, 11, and 12, you don't get a lot of variants anymore. The one that, you know, they lean off from the 25s down. Whoever to did it. It definitely looks like a Frank Miller inspired kind of thing to me. It's an awesome cover, and getting nine eights is not going to be easy. So I would assume that the character we saw on the last page is going to show up multiple times in here, and there is also probably going to be a splash page at the end of this that may show something else. <coughs> acolytes, <coughs> acolytes, <laughs> acolytes. All right, it might show the acolytes. So I would, uh, I would advise you on picking up that book. Read the whole series. Go back and do it. When they hit number twelve, which we think will be the end of the arc, we will do a full review. There is a lot of new characters that they introduced into the series, and we will cover them all. When we get to the end. Hopefully, you like this format uh, of doing it. Once again, we try to keep it under ten minutes so that you could actually get through it. You could look at some of the the pages there are more pages into the book feel free to go buy the book you should be buying the books mm -hmm. um and go back and find some of the earlier darth vader ones i know a lot of them now are starting to get back into the dollar bins because it's around that time because we're at number 10 which means it's been 10 months and some good comic stores haven't been so check those all out also go to wanedcomics.com that's wanted comics with an s x.com x check out what he has there in his inventory he sells out a lot of stuff because his stuff is really priced well and he has a lot of good stuff. Somebody down there is a huge fan and buys a lot of books. A lot I of did. Books. I had to get the High Republic second prints because none of my local comic shops had them. I went and looked today and or went and looked and they just weren't there. Well, there was somebody that's telling you about that that you should. I know. I assumed my shop would have them. Listen to him and you again. All right. Thanks again. Solo Wookie. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Make sure you comment below. Leave it down at the uh, the bottom. Tell us if you did, if you didn't, or if there's something you'd like to see us improve. If you liked one of our other ones where you didn't actually have to see this ugly face or any of these pretty faces <laughs> over here, uh, let us know what you like, what you didn't like. Don't worry. We take it all with stride. So, Wookie, uh, take us out, please. Please, to the greatest chat, let us know in the comments what you think, what you like, what you don't. Then go over and force push that like and subscribe. Go over and say we're smash that bell so that you can be alarmed every time the greatest chat and the greatest information this side of the galaxy comes your way. 
and may the force be with you. Always. Back up.